we've been working on cleaning up some of the parts of the engine and the block itself. And Matt got really anxious about wanting to get the camshaft in. So he's been working on lubing it up. All right, here we go. You wanna bang it into as much stuff as you possibly can the whole way in. Just kidding, don't do that. fun happen. And so how does that change the way that it was? It keeps the uh, intake and exhaust valves open. It opens them further and keeps them open longer to let more air and fuel in and let it out a little quicker.
had the lifter soaking in oil. Now it's time to slide them on in there. lifters we had would cause a ticking sound because it would get stuck bleed down it would bleed down and that is what created the whole project to become noise. what it is now it was a, a annoying little ticking noise that made it sound as if the engine was almost ticking or knocking but it was the lifters, and so we put LS7 lifters in it. What was the difference between the LS7 lifters? Oh, they're just GM high-performance ones. Good, good quality factory stuff, hopefully. Well, when that ticking noise is a common thing that happens to these engines. Yeah, all the Gen 4 LSs have well, anyone with active fuel management are pretty prone to have issues. At least that's my experience with them. And generally it happened to me when it was cold outside. Yeah. But it would happen really anytime, really. Generally when it was cold, but really anytime it could act up. And you don't have to take the engine out to put lifters in it. You can just pull the heads off. But we decided, because we're doing the camshaft upgrade, we didn't want to lose any low end. So we went with the looser converter. So, you know, to do that, the motor's gotta come out. So we pulled it out. Now we just have to finish cleaning the heads up, put them on, and then we're gonna do the valve springs with the heads on. We're gonna put air in the cylinders to kind of help. I think it'll be a little bit easier with the tools that I have. So that's the next step. Maybe I'll put the valley cover on quick. Last night after we went in and had dinner, Matt had more energy to come out and do more on the engine. I did not, but he came out and did quite a bit of work. All right. So we're finishing up, putting this thing together. We got the, uh, the Brian Tooley Stage 2 truck cam in it. The LS7 lifters, the LS2 timing chain tensioner, LS2 timing chain gear. We went from a single bolt to a three bolt. Uh, we got the Brian Tooley 560 lift uh, valve springs installed and Brian Tooley valve seals on it. Uh, Brian Tooley push rods, Michigan Motorsport rocker arms with the upgraded trunnions and ARP hardware holding those on, ARP head bolts, ARP crank bolt, Got new AC Duckle spark plugs in it, all GM gaskets, um, GM tray, and we're pretty much ready just to finish putting these little pieces on and putting it in. So I'll show you a little chip on how to put these belts on. I use a zip tie. You can slide it through here. There's a special tool for it. It's a little piece of metal that works pretty well. Um, but this works good too if you don't have it. I throw that zip tie on there and then grab the wrench, which I think I put over here. And just kind of give it, give it some turns and it'll work its way on there.
There we go. One stretchy belt installed. We'll put the water pump on too. I think that'll be a little bit easier out of the truck. Slide around there. these rocker arm or the valve covers and let's install it.